World of Tanks features a high-level content mode that allows you to show the best of your combat skills and diplomatic talents. We call this mode Clan Wars. Clan Wars is a global domination strategy game within World of Tanks, with thousands of players fighting over hundreds of territories on a global scale. To join the global tank war, you first have to create your own clan. To do that, you must have a team of at least 15 players with vehicles of Tier 5 and above. When your clan is formed, you are ready to march on the global map. Jump to the Clan Wars tab in your browser. You can see that the global map is divided into many regions. The grey territories do not fall under any clan and are ripe for capture, while the color-coded ones belong to clans already fighting on the map. All of the provinces you control give your clan a daily income in gold and are divided into three types. Some of the coastal provinces are the amphibious landing areas and are the first territories you need to capture. These areas provide minimum income for your clan. Common provinces can be either coastal or continental and provide a moderate gold revenue to their owners. Whereas, key provinces such as Berlin, London or Moscow are of significant importance to every clan. These are the territories that give the highest gold returns and controlling them is also a matter of prestige. To enter the global map with your clan, select one of the coastal provinces indicated by the blue arrows and put 15 ships from your combat reserve on that region. If the territory is not occupied, you conquer it without any difficulty. If it already has an owner, you must fight for it in a single battle, which is held in the regular World of Tanks game client. Unlike company battles, fights in clan wars don't have tier limits, so be prepared to engage top-notch players with their best vehicles. If you are thoroughly prepared for the battle, you'll be victorious and gain control over the province that will become your bridgehead for expansion deep into the continent. The chips mentioned before represent your clan's members. To attack another territory, move your chips onto the region you want to capture. The chips change their color from green to yellow when you move them. This means that you can still cancel your move within the current turn. If you want to attack the province, Take additional chips from your combat reserve and place them on your landing territory so that other clans won't be able to capture it without striking a blow. When you activate one of your provinces that has chips on it, arrows of different colors spread from it to adjacent territories. Green arrows indicate that you can move chips to an adjacent region. Red arrows show that you can declare an attack on an enemy province. Black arrows denote your inability to move chips into an area. You can move your chips to adjacent provinces only once per day, measured in real time, so choose carefully where you want to move your forces. While you are planning to capture an enemy territory, other clans can encroach on your lands. When someone declares an attack on one of your regions, a sword and shield appears on it. Selecting the province shows you the direction from which the attack is coming. You can also see the name of the attacking clan in the menu below the map. Clan Wars uses Fog of War to hide information about your enemy's strength in adjacent territories. You can find out how many chips enemies have in their provinces by conducting reconnaissance. If your intelligence operation succeeds, you are told the number of chips located on the province as well as whether the region holds the enemy's headquarters. Note that you cannot conduct intelligence operations in provinces that you have already declared attacks on. Clan Wars also features diplomatic opportunities for clan leaders. You can make non-aggression pacts and sign treaties, including financial, transport, and military agreements that may benefit both you and your allies. All of this turns your activities on the global map into a full-scale political and military career where your effective resource management and strategic insight will allow you to build your own steel empire to dominate the world of tanks.